Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marilyn. I teach creative people how to sell their art online and we are on another Redbubble challenge video. I started this challenge July 3rd. It's a challenge I gave myself, but you obviously can follow along. And the challenge means that I need to design 20 designs per week in a specific method. In this case, I'm using a different AI every week. Now, each design gets five pins to pin to Pinterest. After three weeks, I will be purchasing myself, which already happened. I will leave a link down below to that video. I also did like a middle recap of how things are going. And on August 15th, I'm going to recap the entire thing. The six weeks are kind of changed now. The fourth week was supposed to be something different. But in a general summary, on the first week I was doing 20 designs using Kiddo AI, just their AI plus tax and other stuff using the one by one and the three and a half by five ratios. There was a video about that. All of these were already made into videos. The second week, which I found to be honestly the easiest, was just creating 20 designs using Creative Fabrica Spark Seamless Pattern Maker. So they are seamless. You just multiply them and uploading five pins for each design. Third week, using Night Cafe, but I'm not doing anything with it. Like I'm just generating a photo on Night Cafe, three and a half by five ratio and the one by one ratio, and that's it. And this week, instead of doing PNG on Spark with collages, which I will make a separate video just about that, but instead of doing that, because that will take me an insane amount of time, that will literally take me the entire week, what I'm doing is something that I actually started doing a while ago and I found it kind of cool. I'm using Lexic AI, which for those of you who don't know, the photos that you can get from Lexic AI are relatively very small. And instead of upscaling them, using any kind of stable diffusion software, I'm actually modifying them on Kittle. So I'm mostly vectorizing them on Kittle. So size doesn't matter. And then I'm creating them on a one by one ratio and three and a half by five ratio, and then creating five pins for each design. And that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to create the initial art on Lexica. We're going to bring it to Kittle. We're going to vectorize it. We're going to play around with the ratios, download those, upload them to Redbubble, create the entire product, design line of that piece of art and five pins to pin to Pinterest and I hope that you guys will enjoy. Let's get started by going to Lexica and this is not a full Lexica tutorial. Comment down below if you want me to make a full one because I really do like this platform and I'm going to go to generate. This is a free and a paid platform. The free version is very limited and it also doesn't allow for commercial use. I got the one year membership because I feel like I, I just don't know when I have time to focus on this and I'm more of a yearly membership kind of person instead of a monthly, but for you guys, but if anyone's just starting out and they don't know what they're doing, try monthly subscriptions on different things before committing to a yearly membership and see if you're actually using it or if it's a waste of money. And let's just start with describing my image. We don't really have a filter here. Like we can choose like watercolor style or line art or the things that we're used to from Night Cafe or from Creative Fabrica Spark or even from Kittle. We do have three models here, the Lexica V3, V2 and V1. I'm gonna create the same thing. I think trying to prompt between the different ones. Uh, here are some things that I already created. Yeah, I was in a gummy bear phase. There was also some tie dye stuff. There is also um, this girl right here from the poster of this video. If you guys recognize her, she was also featured in the Kittle Coffee Challenge. But let's just start with one thing I do think I want to do is maybe a coloring page because I think they're vectorized very well. But I also like they have these like fantasy, I don't know, mushrooms. They have this really good fantasy style. So oh, I do not know what I want. I think I want a magical owl. I feel like I'm always going in towards like the puns that I can take from owls. Uh, I need to find a size for it, which I'm probably going to take like this, the square one because I am going to play around with text for it. And let's also do magical coffee cup or coffee mug, magical coffee, magical table. I don't know. Let's do magical coffee mug. Oh, wow. These are amazing. Even though I'm trying to think if it will actually look good if I vectorize it. Maybe let's do something like cactus. Let's try a different filter, the V2. Let's try this one. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but there is no way for me to enlarge this photo, to upscale this photo, because the V3 model of Lexic AI does not allow that, but I can outpaint, which means it will take this owl and push it further back to create a bigger frame, which is one of my favorite features of Lexica. Okay, we have magic cactus. 
these are actually kind of cool but I am drawing a blank here let's do woman with blue hair I do like the whole blue hair don't care pink hair don't care it's a very strong motif I've been selling a lot of t-shirts for that on different platforms and I actually this is something that I was doing a few years ago and I kind of really like it especially because usually my hair is very colored okay woman with blue hair I actually prompted this many times and almost always got these two faces I think this one is cute uh, but I do want to upscale this photo I don't know if I want to use any of these coffee things can I use this coffee thing let's just download this one and see if Kittle like the vectorizer can hack this if it's gonna be good enough oh wow no I need to outpaint her first you see like her head here is like on the top and I want it to be you know better let's just also download this I mean it's already ready Ooh, okay now you see like push it back so this one looks the best let's upscale this one and download it okay now let's open this photo of course it will open on my other screen and if you guys look at this the data of this photo it's 2560 it's nothing this is not something I can use unless it's for a very small sticker hence using Kittle AI so I'm gonna head over to Kittle and I'm gonna start a new project now if you have any other software that can vectorize things go for it I'm just using Kittle because it's the easiest for me by 5,000 I need 300 dpi and it's gonna you can download this big obviously if your art supports this but designing is best to do on a smaller size because if you're not like if you're doing on the full size it literally it takes forever okay and then we're gonna go to our uploads and let's upload this girl this no this girl and our mug hello there gorgeous now obviously if i'm just going to do something like this it's not going to matter if i tell the computer download this in 300 dpi because it's not supported the initial image is not big enough it might look big enough here when you're looking at it because we're seeing it in a very small size this is like what less than a notebook but if i go in you can obviously see that things are pixelated so what i'm going to do here is i think the first thing is to ai background remove because I don't want her background to be vectorized as well I don't want to create a street view and I think this one is a bit better yeah this one looks good and now we're gonna vectorize it and when you're vectorizing an image I don't know if you guys know this but you can actually choose colors so I want to try two versions of this okay I'm going to copy paste this lovely girl and I'm gonna hide one of her and this one I am going to vectorize her with one single color and the second one Oh wow, that is too much. See, good thing that I copy pasted. I do not like this at all. Okay, let's vectorize. I don't know why, but I think like when you do something, when I try to vectorize myself, it vectorizes with single color better. I think because I have lighter skin. Not that there's any problem with her gorgeous skin, and I just now noticed that her top is like different colors, but never mind. But I feel like with darker skins, it just doesn't vectorize as well with a single color. And I'm going to take it to the maximum of 16 colors and I'm creating a vector file which means it doesn't matter how big or small it is unless you know you print it on a building even though what are the limits of vector files Ooh. and now this is gonna stay no matter how close I get and I can download it in any aspect ratio and any size in any DPI and it's gonna be amazing but what I do find hard with this photo is the fact that if I'm looking at it now the fact that she's like it's it's very strong at the bottom I don't think it will make for really good shirts but I do think that this might work maybe not as a blue hair don't care kind of girl but just maybe like a motivational something so like be true to your inner beauty or something like that so I'm just gonna drop a piece of text here Oh, I do not know what to write and I do not want to ask ChatGPT. Um, stay gorgeous like be beautiful what do you think be 
Let's do beautiful. Beautiful. Like this. I think that could work. I'm thinking. I'm not sure. Maybe I can. No. Let's lock you. This is annoying. Lock. Thank you. So she's not going to move. Let's put this in the center. Let's have a different background color. Mm. I think I need to play with my screen settings. One thing that you guys need to know is that whenever you're designing something, you need to make sure that your screen is optimized. Otherwise, you're not going to see the colors all too well. I dim mine down when I'm working, like fluidly working, because I don't want to ruin my eyes. But yeah, okay. Different font. I want a font that is like exaggerating, I think, maybe the capital letters, because it is, you know, a thing here. Like some fonts are all just capital or all just lower. Oh, this one could be nice. Beautiful. Okay. I feel like this could be like a poster in some hair salon <laughs> or something. Okay, text, sure. I think also like when you actually have a concept to a store, which I do not have in this case, I just have a bunch of categories, but when you actually have a concept to a certain store or a certain niche, it becomes much easier for you to figure out what to design. I almost don't want to work on the text at all. I do think that maybe I want to see more of the actual texture on the text because on the white and on the black text, you don't have the texture up here. But maybe I'll do it in the form of a shadow. Oh yeah, that's kind of nice. Maybe I can take a shadow from her. See, all the colors were saved, which doesn't happen with the usual photos, but because this one is vectorized. All the colors are a part of the design. This is so beautiful. And I feel like I forgot to show you guys something really cool. Let's unlock our illustration. You can actually change all of the colors here. So for example, let's say I want to give her green hair. I do not have to recreate her. All I have to do is just take everything that's blue and just swipe it to green. Obviously, when we have so many colors, we need to think about, you know, if this is matching or if this look good. But check this out. She's now green hair with green eyes, which I obviously don't want because I really like the blue. So I'm um, command Z or control Z, basically everything. Let's call this... Beauty. Blue hair, beautiful, save the project. Now, the reason why I chose this aspect ratio, for those of you who don't know, is because it fills in the cards of Redbubble. And I'm just going to put a different variation of this here because I might find that the edges are going to be a bit cropped. So I'm going to download this again. This time I spaced it a little bit more here and the text is a bit smaller. Just in case it's going to crop the sides. Or the bottom I don't want it to come on the expense of having a readable text now there are two things you can do from here first of all you can just do, use this size but I do also want to have a square size and you can exit this and then duplicate it and create another one that is 5,000 by 5,000 pixels or just strictly do that here now this here even though this is kind of cute I'm gonna move her a little bit and I have more room now for my beautiful Let's make sure that it's centered. And this one will be the one that I'll be using, for example, for the shower curtains, the tote bags, the pillows. And again, I want to make sure that people can read the text. Because if you think about how a pillow looks, then if I'm going to put this down here, then this is a part of the pillow that is kind of curving down. So it's not very visible. And I do want it to be visible. I am also not making it super big because a lot of products like the shower curtain are not a one by one ratio. They are slightly vertically aligned. So it's basically gonna cut off this side and this side. Oh my God, she looks so good. I want this. I'm going to raise this to 300 DPI, which I can control because this is a vector file and change it to 10,000 by 10,000 pixels. I'm also thinking about the jigsaw puzzle. You know what? Let's solve the jigsaw puzzle when we get there. Download on JPEG. And it's downloaded. Okay. Now it's time. Money time. To go to our store and add new work. Ta -ta 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 -ta. 
I'm not sure I'm going to use this one because that was the initial one, if you guys remember, before I adjusted the text. And I'm trying to think which is going to be the design I'm going to use the most amount of times. And I think it's going to be the square one. But I already know I'm going to need another variation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the size to um, 2,500 because I'm thinking about the phone cases, for example. Let's take the beautiful, put it on zero. Come on. And center it here and take her and make her smaller. Not too small. Now, if I'm looking at a phone case, obviously, like the camera is going to be here. And um, maybe it's going to be more narrow or no, I think it's I think it's wider. Let's put it on 3000. I'm too lazy right now to look at the red bubble sizing. But from my memory, this should work around 3000 by 5000. Let's download again. This time I'm, I don't really need to change the size. It's going to fit. And I'm also thinking about my mugs. So for the mugs, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the size again. I told myself I'm not going to be doing all that. Ugh. And let's give it a 3,000. So I'm basically switching it up. And can I hear you? Come here. Where is my beautiful space out? Oh, wow. It's all the way here. For those of you who are wondering how I'm doing this, I have a Mac. I just push back and like zoom in some out copy paste this girl right click flip thank you i want to center her with the other one why is it not centering a line come on thank you um i think i might need to change this but i will know soon enough let's download 300 dpi Okay, let's get back to Redbubble. And obviously I'm gonna find a, bi a billion other things that I forgot to do, but fine. <laughs> Beautiful. Ooh, air inspiration. Okay, some, some quotes. I'm disabling the shirts. <laughs> I'm not gonna use them. Ooh, okay, now it's time to play. This is on this shirt. Ooh, I know what I need. I know what I forgot to do. I always forget to do it. I need to make one design where I'm kind of like spacing it out. Let's go back. You'll, you'll see what I mean in like a minute. So this is gonna be 3,000 by 6,000. Let's confirm. Oh no, that's too much. Four. Thank you. Basically what I'm doing is I'm looking at this. You can look at the size measurements, but I'm looking at this. And the space that I have here, and I'm thinking, hmm, how do I fill it up? Okay, I'm gonna do this. And again, I can do whatever I want with the size because it's a vector. Nice. And maybe I should put the beautiful in the middle. No, I don't want it to cover her face. Okay, now let's try and download this one and try this one uh, for my t shirts, like the full printed t shirts. This is coming up to be a lot more than what I bargained for. Where are you, my blue hair, beautiful woman? Beautiful woman number five. Let's see how it adds up. Stickers, I'm going to leave the same, even though we can circle this. No, too much work. Phone cases. Let's see if my design idea for the phone cases was correct. This was this one. Oh, yes. Okay, now we can lift her up and center her. That, no. No, now I cannot see her face. You know what? I'm just thinking to do like this and just cover the word beautiful. It's not going to be printed. Who cares? It's a challenge. Last thing. Oh, no, I uploaded the wrong one. Does this happen to you when you have a lot of files and you just upload the wrong one? Let's do the same for the dress. The 4,000 by 6. Stickers is fine. Ooh, the phone case looks amazing. This is spot on the right size. I'm so happy I did it that way. Okay, dress. No. How about if I use this the, the phone case measurements for the dress? Will that work? No, I need larger sizes. Maybe for the dress, I should just take like the big one and just, you know, 
put it down. This one looks actually good. I'm going to keep this one the same. I don't have to use, you know, the same pattern everywhere. Why is it not enough? Let's pick the big one or not activate it. Yeah, you know what? Let's keep it like this. Desk mat. Ooh, I forgot to design for you. We need the beautiful, like, here. On, like, 10 by 5. Okay. You know, hopefully, doing this, I will learn from my mistakes. So 10 by 5 is 5 by 250. Come here, you. Do I want her to look at herself? Or do I want this to be like this? This could also be nice. I think for a desk mat especially. Oh, I kind of want this desk mat now. No, no, I want to buy everything. And I already did my purchase. Well, I am recording this before. So maybe I have purchased it. Who knows? 10 by 5. Beautiful. I can just squish you like this. Yeah. Now you see what I meant when I was talking about the pillow. Like at the bottom, like I can still see it even though the pillow curves, which was my goal. Yeah, this one I will keep the same. Oh, wow, this is so cute. I love the desk mat. Okay, the most important part. Why is this all here? Good. Um, replacing this. This is why I wanted to create basically the three and a half by five ratio. We have her. Maybe on this we can change to the same one. No. No. Snap up skins and sleeves. Smaller. This. I'm just going with it right now, you know? Whatever. Let's put it like that and manually adjust it. I feel like the minute I tell myself, no, I'm just going to do a very specific amount of files, I'm for sure going to do more. Okay, so now we have this girl, which in this case on Redbubble, it's actually the shower curtain going the other way. So it's cutting off the bottom and the top but I'm still good with my design. Oh, you look so pretty. Yes, I like this one. I like this one so much. I don't care about the mats for the pets. Ooh, mug. We have one for the mug, right? We have the double-sided girl. Pet bandanas, I don't care. Scarves, honestly, I don't care, but it's on. Let's do the iPhone cases. I really like motivational stuff on my tech. Are you guys the same? I feel like I'm, I'm really that kind of person. Um, let's also change this one just because I want the beautiful to be more visible and also for our notebook. Hardcover journals. Ooh, this is hard. Let's try the mug size. Maybe the mug is going to help us. Oh, no, that's not going to work. No. Okay, mug. Beautiful. And it covers both mugs. Like the other mug that is going up here it covers both. This looks beautiful. Yes, this is nice. Let's scale it a little bit up. Because I want to raise it up, center it, and to have it visible here. Beautiful. Aww. I want this notebook so much. No. This is not it. Or it is. You know what? I'm going to keep it. I keep obsessing over this, and I told myself I'm going to, you know, just make it very fast and not care. So I'm going to keep it. Um, yeah, I'm good with the artboard print. I'm good with the coasters, <gasps> throw blankets and tapestries. Hello, come up a little bit. Oh, what do you think? I don't like cutting her head too much. Uh, bath mats. Let's change to one of those. Um, to the one I did for the laptop cases. You live, you learn. Clocks. No. Does not look good. I need something with the word beautiful being higher. This one. Yay! Beautiful. Could you make it bigger so the beautiful would look centered? I'm centering this around the word. Yeah. Two pixels to the left and all the difference to me. <laughs> Let's choose this one for the for our little tumbler. This looks gorgeous. I'm leaving it. This no. 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 Apron is just fine. No. Yeah. Tumblr. Yep. 
even though you can't see it from the front of you. Ooh, okay. The jigsaw puzzles was the tricky part because I want to see the girl, but I also want to see the beautiful. So let's see if I have something that will work. Sleeveless top, I think it's fine. This one I don't like anyway. No, 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 no. Just waiting for the puzzle. Come on. <sighs> no. I need 9,000 by 6. Oh, yeah. I've got that. Okay. 9,000 by 6. So let's give it... Um, 5 by 4 will give me 10 by 8. No, 9 by 6. Yeah, it's basically that ratio. Okay. This is her. Let's put her a bit down. And center this. Okay. How many times did I download already? A million? Thank God I didn't like duplicate every single size. I would go nuts. I think I ended up using mostly the same size, just like moving the text around. If this had didn't have like text, I would have much less issues. Come yeah, on. And I already put her in digital art and design and illustration. And I have a category for color hair. Let's check it out. Come on, please be pretty. Please puzzle be pretty. Please be pretty. Come on, come on. <gasps> yes. Oh, you're so beautiful. Let's make it bigger. You're so beautiful. Yes. I love this. It's a beautiful puzzle. <laughs> okay, now the recommended product, the product that's going to be featured if people see my design or go into my shop, which is a very important part. The clock looks horrible. You know what? Let's remove this. Let's make it all about her. Thank you. Oh, it's coming out of her nose. Uh, which should be my featured product? I really like the shower curtain. You know what? A print. I'm just going to use a print as my featured product. Let's do one of the wall art. The wall art of Redbubble is surprisingly epic. There was a video about me reviewing multiple different types of wall arts from different platforms. And Redbubble actually had a really good quality. I agree to the user agreement. Yes. And save my artwork kind of want to make like an entire store of just vectorized stuff. This is so beautiful. Okay, my next step. We're not done because I'm supposed to pick five of them and make five pins. Well, technically, I'm not supposed to pick five because I can make five pins of the same thing. But let's see what came out looking good. The phone cases are nice. I'm going to take a phone case. I feel like a lot of people sometimes often like to have a motivational word on their phone case. So step one, I'm downloading the photo and then I'm opening a new page for this product and it's going to stay here for those of you who haven't seen the previous videos you'll soon see why now i do have the art prints the canvas prints and stuff like that but if i look at the photos like i can download from here they're not so good let's face it um so for the canvas for the art print let me just open like view the page for the art print let's make it big this is 61 okay i can use this but what I do like to do is go to Canvi, and again, you can use that one for your pens, whichever tool you're using. And I'm gonna choose the room. If anyone here doesn't know what I'm doing right now, I'm on Canvi, which is an app for wall art mockups, and they're true to size, which is important in this case. Oh, I've never used this one. There was a full tutorial on how I use it. This is previous artwork that I've uploaded and I am going to add artwork. In this case, I'm going to add the initial one that I did, which is seven and by 10, because that's the size, the original file behind this one. Now it's asking me what size I want it to be in. Let's insert. It doesn't fit. Okay. I don't care. I'm going to fit it later. Let's pick this artwork and add it to the room and it's huge and it's not the right size. See 120 by 171. And here, the actual largest size that I can do is 61 on 81.3. So let's change that size. 61, as you can see, it changed to six to 86 because as I said, Redbubble crops the photo a little bit. This is the actual largest size that I can have for this artwork, which is fine by me. Let's change the wall. 
much better. And let's download it. And I'm not really centering it here because I'm kind of, you know, this is a Pinterest pin. This is going to be a Pinterest pin. So I need to leave some space in the top. Download. 4,000 by 4,000. That's huge. Huge. Okay. We got that covered. Let's go with the photographic print as well. Let's view product page because again, the downloaded images here are of the small version and I want the big one. And I'm going to show you how to get the bigger one from here for those of you who don't know, because you know, you can't really download this image, but actually you can right click on your mouse and click on inspect element. And basically you're reading the code of the website. Click here and it will take you to the actual photo where you can just save image. It's a little shortcut tip from me. I love code. <laughs> I just love code. Okay. We opened that. We have the print. We have the phone case. We have the art print, like photographic print. Um, let's do a wall tapestry. Dining room is finally downloaded. The candy one. Let's do a wall tapestry. This is in a decent size. Let's just download this one. Do not forget to open it in a new page. And also use the post. Oh, I want the, I, I think I want the, 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 the yeah. <laughs> No words, you may. Download image, spiral notebook. Do they have a nicer image on the... Ugh, oh, what's wrong with you? View product page. Do they have a nicer image here? No, just changes the lines in the graphs. Can I? Their notebooks are actually really good. Okay, I have those five products open here. I'm going to go to Kittle. Not here. Goodbye. Uh, back to Kittle and go to my projects. And now I'm going to create a pin. So most of my pins are saved in my social media. And by the way, I also published a bunch of Pinterest pins for you guys to use. So you can just pick them up from the link down below to my Kittle templates. You can just pick them up and work with them. It's not an issue. You don't have to change much just to put in your own art since it's not something you're selling. Like you're not copying my template and selling it. You're just using it to promote. So I have these. I think we're going to use this one. Let's see how it looks. In any case, if you want to open multiple, like, like multiple designs on, on Kittle for the same upload, first upload everything. So I'm going to go here to my uploads and click on upload. And okay, where are you? One, two, three. Every time I do that, it's like one, two, three, four. Tell me that you love me more. Horrible. It's like my zebra pattern. Ooh, why is this here? I don't like this background. Do I have any more layers? No. Okay, let's just put one of these. This one I'm going to stretch all the way through. I'm going to center it. And now I'm going to think about the text that I want to add. Huh. The wall art. No. You are. You beautiful yeah I don't know you're beautiful I'm on the flag curve on this one I can make it more curvy curvy to the other side less curvy less curvy is good okay let's go to the text colors I'm gonna match them somehow to this design no this one is gonna match this ha huh. and this one is gonna match no it's gonna match the table match you to the table yeah I'm fine with this one I'm changing the name beautiful pen this is how it's saved on my computer and download I do not need to download it this big it's a Pinterest pen and uh, Pinterest pins are usually 1000 by 1500 so one and one and a half ratio let's delete this one let's take another full photo frame this is for the phone case and the notebook I'm gonna remove background I'm using like all of Kittle's features a lot. This photo is enormous, so I'm not worried about stretching it. I really wish I could have seen the window. Maybe if I would have made a different alignment for the pin, but fine. Behind the sales pitch, you are beautiful. Okay, um, no, let's adjust the colors again. So the upper color goes for something that is in the bottom and the lower color goes for something in the middle. And both of them looks horrible. <laughs> no. Absolutely no. You know what? 
I'm good with that. Download. Ta -da. Now, for those of you who are wondering, why did I download everything in 72 DPI? That's because DPI is a quality measurement for printing. And as this is a Pinterest pin, I don't care about the resolution for printing because it should not be printed anywhere. Oh, nice. You are beautiful. Download. We have two pins. Three? I made three already or two? I have so many things on my download folder. <laughs> my computer is such a mess. Wait, where is the pin thing? Where's the pin? Oh, here. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Usually I'm, I'm much more on top of it. But you know, when you're talking and designing, it kind of throws you off. AI background removing for my notebook cover, and it's horrible. Usually it can really handle this on most of the notebook covers that I did. Let's try again. I don't know why it removed everything, but you know what? I'm still, I still can use it. It's not like it's that bad. It usually removes everything, you know? You are beautiful. And let's just copy paste this and write motivational notebook. And center on here. Wait, let me push this down. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch these colors. So this one is going to be beige and this one is going to be blue. Yes. Download. Delete. Phone case. Remove background. I don't know why it's removing the brown with, this, with the notebook. I'm afraid it's going to happen here. Please don't happen here. Honestly, I could just remove the notebook background from my Mac. I don't know why I'm being lazy today. Maybe because I know that I'm going to have to do this 19 more times this week. It's going to be annoying. Come on, girl. It did nothing. Sometimes that happens when you use the tool a lot. I feel like it's also like an internet connection thing. And we've been having a lot of storms in Bansko lately. It's been really hard to film. Yes, it's summertime, but like we've had so many storms. <gasps> Yay, you're good. Oh my God, I'm so happy. You are beautiful. Motivational phone, uh, iPhone case. Without the motivational. Hello. Go ahead. Be bigger. You are beautiful. You know what? I don't want iPhone case here. You. Yes, 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 you. Are. different background color most definitely yes and download oh my god we're so close to finishing this i'm so happy and now i'm gonna open pinterest okay i'm gonna head over to save i'm already gonna put this on the board that i have like i'm gonna access adding pin from the board and i have a board for color hair pin now comes the very methodical copy paste part. One, up. Two, it helps that they all have the same name because then they align themselves with one, two, three. Three, four, five. Hello. And now, this is a notebook. Copying the URL, closing this. Going to Pinterest, to the notebook, pasting it here. Do not click enter because it will publish it without anything here. Wall tapestry, copying the link. Where are you? Pasting it here. Oh no, 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 I did not take you yet. Oh, we open closed it. Thank you. Our photographic print is here. 
now I can close you. We have our phone case here. Yes. And our art print, which was the one I used from on Canvas. Great. Okay. Now I'm gonna write the word beautiful. And then I'm gonna write wall wall tapestry. Copy it here. Now text. Motivation of wall art. Publish. This is on color hair. I'm reminding you, I'm gonna probably need to change this. Okay. Next up. Beautiful. Let's do beautiful iPhone case. Take your all with blue hair. Copy that to alt text and publish. Beautiful. No. Journaling. Notebook. Girl with blue hair. I'm just typing all of it. Just stuffing it with keywords, but not too much. For it to be readable. Beautiful. Beautiful. Girl with blue hair poster. It's a photographic print, but you know what? It's okay. Art print published. Oh my god, I don't even know how long it took. I do not know how long it took. I know that I'm definitely gonna try and hold myself together when it comes to the many, many, how many sizes did I have? Oh my god, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh wow. Definitely, when I finish this challenge, I will know how you know to to narrow it down to the list of sizes. You know, I'm probably gonna watch this video after, and then literally write down. Oh, for the iPhone case, I used this one, and for the notebook, I used that one, and I'm gonna make a normal list of everything and how long it took me. And I feel like that would be something that I will be revealing or telling you guys when I finish this challenge uh, we're gonna have the full recap of the entire thing on August 15th but for now I really do like her and I don't know if you guys know but for some of these videos for this challenge I'm doing the initial 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 design concept a little bit before that week so even though for you guys yesterday I purchased the items from Redbubble and did my middle recap. I might actually have already purchased this because this is being filmed on July 13th. Um, the actual week that I'm spending time working on this is the week that started on the 24th, but the video of it was filmed a bit before. Kind of decided, you know, to get a jump start on things because I have a lot of life things happening, including completely redecorate my entire apartment and the fact that I just spent around 250 euros on filming equipment, like lights, so that I can film here no matter what is the lighting situation. If the entire world is foggy and I have no lights, I can still film. And I'm rambling on on a lot of other things which I do not think are relevant, but what I think is relevant is to go ahead and watch the video I made yesterday, if you have not seen it, of me telling you guys uh, what I actually purchased for myself because a lot of people say that once you purchase from yourself, it helps. And also because I literally want to buy these things. Like I'm designing a lot of things that I actually want to buy. And I feel like that's the way you should be doing print on a man anyway. So you can go ahead and watch that video next with a recap, a mini recap of the actual statistics I've had on Pinterest three weeks into this challenge. Uh, but with that being said, that was it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching. Oh my God, I absolutely adore her. And I still adore the fact that I can change her hair color automatically on Kittle because she's a vector file. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!